Welcome to a day in my life as an au pair in Germany. My name is Kaylee, I am from Texas, and I am on month eight of my au pair year in Germany. On the weekdays, I wake up at 6 a.m. and prepare breakfast for the kids. One of my morning tasks is to prepare the lunchbox for the youngest child who goes to kindergarten. The older two have lunch in school. Then I help with the final touches of getting the kids ready to go to school and I help drive one, two, or sometimes even all three kids to school. Today I just took the youngest and then I came back home and cleaned up the kitchen. Every au pair's duties are different, but as far as cleaning goes, this is really the only thing that I have to do. My house parents just got a brand new fancy barista machine and I have absolutely loved learning how to make proper Italian coffee. Today I decided to make my favorite, which is my version of Starbucks brown sugar oat milk espresso. Iced, of course. Although iced coffee is pretty much an American thing. They don't have it very much here in Germany or in Europe in general. But that's probably because it's not scorching hot half of the year. I am obsessed with avocado toast, so that's what I made myself for breakfast. Properly seasoned, of course. While my host kids are at school, I typically have free time to do whatever I want. Sometimes I'll run some errands for my host mom, like go to the grocery store or something, but typically I'm free. Today is a bit different though, and I'll explain why later. After breakfast, I got ready for the day, and while we're here, let's do a quick room tour. So I have my own bedroom on the opposite side of the house from the rest of the family. I have a desk, a full-size bed, a garden view. They're currently renovating right now, so it's not super pretty. <laughs> Clearly, I need to do laundry. My shoes are lined up against the wall, and I have a whole wardrobe for all of my clothes. What? Please ignore the mess on my desk, but this advent calendar is a super cute thing that my host mom got me for Christmas. Every day I got to take a little shot of random alcohol, some are better than others. And then here is my most prized possession, my snow globe collection, all of which I have collected since moving here. Fun fact, I have about 50 more at home from my travels. Okay, so I'm gonna go over my typical daily schedule really quickly. Um, every day I wake up at 6 a.m., well, on the weekdays. Um, weekends I have free normally, but on the weekdays I wake up at 6 a.m. and I set the table and get everything ready for breakfast like you saw this morning. Um, and then normally I take at least one, um, mostly two of the kids to school, um, sometimes all three, but normally just uh, two of them. Um, and I have to drive them into the city. It takes about 20 minutes or so to drive them into the city and drop them all off. And round trip, it's about an hour. Um, and then whenever I get home, I have free time, technically. Um, I have free time from the time I drop them off at school um, until I pick them up. Some days I pick them up at 1.30 and some days at 3.30. It kind of depends on the day. Um, so there's that. And then... During my free time, during the mornings, it kind of depends on what I need to do. Sometimes I will do laundry, clean my room, um, like do things that I need to do for me. Uh, sometimes I'll go into the city and get coffee or do some shopping or whatever I want to do. Um, normally, I am here, though, for lunch because my host dad works from home. So normally, whenever I make myself lunch, I also make him lunch. Um, so normally, we have lunch together uh, around 12 every day. Um, and then after I pick the kids up from school, there's various activities. If the weather is nice, which finally the weather in Germany is nice again. It was very cold for a while and no sun. Um, if you've ever gone through a German winter, you know. Um, but sometimes we'll go to the park. There's tons of parks. That is like one big difference, I think, between here and the U.S. Like there is parks everywhere here for kids. It's a very much more outdoorsy focused society. Um... So sometimes we'll go to parks, sometimes we'll just play outside, like by the house. Um, then sometimes we'll just play inside. The little boy loves Legos. Um, the oldest girl loves drawing and arts and craftsy type stuff. Um, the youngest one likes playing different games and puzzles and um, things like that. Sometimes they all play together, sometimes they all play separately. Um, sometimes I play with them, sometimes I like let them do their own thing while I do something that I need to do or whatever. Uh, they don't have to be supervised like constantly so that's what we pretty much do during the day and then um depending on whether their mom is home or not one of us will cook dinner we have dinner around six o'clock um and then 
after dinner, they go straight to bed. Uh, normally the parents will put them to bed and I'll normally help clean up the kitchen. And then that's, I'm done after dinner. Um, technically, if I want to cook dinner and like not eat with them and go out by myself, I'm allowed to do that as well. Um, so basically dinner time is when I'm done. But as far as housework and chores go, the only thing that I really do is load the dishwasher and clean the kitchen. Um, but that flows naturally because normally I'm the one preparing the meals. So I clean up the kitchen afterwards and load the dishwasher and unload it. Um, other than that, I not supposed to, I don't have to do laundry. I don't have to clean anything. We have a cleaning lady. She's actually here right now. She comes a couple times a week. So if my house mom asks me like, hey, can you do this real quick? Like I'll do that, but I don't, I don't have any other housework type activities personally. There are a lot of au pairs that do um, have to do a lot of housework. So whether I have free time in the day while the kids are at school, there are some of pairs who do have to do housework during that time as well. So it really kind of depends on what your family um, asks from you. So I have three host kids, a boy and two girls. Um, the boy is actually home with me for the whole week because the teachers that have school have COVID. So they basically closed down the school for the entire week. Um, so he's at home with me and he wants pancakes for lunch um they make waffles all the time but one day i make pancakes and they are obsessed with them now and he loves to help me make the pancakes so he's going to be so excited when i tell him it's time to make the pancakes it's always important to find activities that your host kids enjoy that you also enjoy so that you don't get like super bored baking and cooking is one of my favorite things to do so i'm really happy that they like to do it with me as well while i cooked the pancakes he did a little drawing and came to show me look how cute We just finished having pancakes and now we are playing outside um it is actually really hot today um uh, i'm like gonna start sweating which is like the first time i've had anything like that um no honey you can't be in the photo um which is the first time that it's been hot like since i got here um so it's a really nice day yes do you have any reagan sham yeah <laughs> and now i am shaded from the sun he's so sweet Since it was such a nice day, we decided to go for a bike ride in the fields behind the house. This is my cute little ring he made me earlier, and then we played some football. I'm now going to pick up the youngest girl from kindergarten. Um, sometimes I'll walk because it's just here in like the village, but uh, today I've already played outside enough, so we're gonna take the car. So this is the car that I use most often. It's a Fiat 500. It is a stick shift, a manual, um, which I did have to learn whenever I first got here. It took me about two or three weeks and all good now, but it is such a cute little car um, and it has a sunroof, love that. Um, it's so nice to like drive around throughout the vineyards and everything with the sunroof down whenever it's nice weather, it's amazing. So we're gonna go get the youngest child now. When we got home, we built some puzzles and played some other board games. And when I tell you this little girl can fall asleep anywhere, I went to the bathroom and came back and she was asleep. So I let her nap for a little bit and then we had yogurt for a snack. Then once their mom got home, it was time for me to drive into the city for my German language class, which I go to twice a week. After eight months of living in Germany, I'd say my German is getting pretty good. Once I got home, it was time to get ready for bed. And that's a day in my life as an au pair in Germany. I absolutely love being an au pair and I couldn't imagine a better country to be in. Good night.